Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to today's video. Now, I'm very glad I slowed down and took a second look at iOS 12.4's phone-to-phone data transfer migration service. So, we're gonna take a look at transferring data directly from one phone to another and not restoring from an iCloud backup or using a previous method that was available on earlier firmwares. Now, the big catch here is both phones being your old phone right here and the new one that you're trying to set up, they both have to be on iOS 12.4. But as many know, iOS 12.4 is going to run on the majority of iOS devices out there, all the way from the 5S and up. So in this example, I'm upgrading from a 6S Plus to the iPhone XR. And again, this is done entirely wirelessly. I just have my phone plugged in and charging because I'm at 4% right now. Anyway, let's get directly into this process. Again, it starts out just the way you would expect. We're gonna go ahead and use this quick start option. So on our old device, we can go ahead and set up our new iPhone just like that. We'll go ahead and let it connect and then you go ahead and scan this little guy right here. So they start pairing. So we can set up face ID later, set up a passcode later. And here is the new feature in iOS 12.4. It says transfer data directly from Tony 2324's iPhone, being this iPhone 6S Plus. Now there's no need for an iCloud backup. It's going to directly transfer the data from phone to phone over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and start the transfer now. It says setting up our Apple ID. Agree to the terms and conditions. We'll go ahead and install updates manually. I'm setting up most of this later just to show you guys. So for whatever reason, it says data transfer canceled. So twice now it says data transfer canceled. Not entirely sure what's going on here, but in theory, that should have transferred data just like that from phone to phone. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one more time. Well, there we have it. The transfer has finally started. I finally got it to work, guys. Um, but as you can tell, the transfer process is extremely quick, going directly from phone to phone instead of backing up with iTunes or iCloud and then restoring that backup. Anyway, guys, finally got it to work. I'm gonna let you know some of the problems I ran into in just a second. Well, I'm not entirely sure what was causing that issue, but as you guys can see, the transfer finally completed uh, after a couple setup attempts. It looks like there's a couple errors going on here with this new transfer system. Um, that or the only other thing I could think of is previously on this iPhone, I was uh, actually skipping a lot of the steps. I wasn't setting up Face ID, wasn't entering a passcode, wasn't setting up Siri, I wasn't setting up Apple Pay. And finally, when I took the time to actually go through and set everything up, then the transfer process actually started. So just a fair warning, if you guys are using this new transfer method, take the time to actually set up the iPhone, which pretty much every user would. But that's what I thought was really weird errors when you kind of just skip past a lot of the initial settings and just wanted to transfer data quickly. It would actually cancel out of the data transfer process. I'm not 100 percent sure why and uh, the backup that I actually got to restore really didn't have any apps so that's why this is not fully set up but I at least wanted to give you guys an update on what this new feature looks like and some of the initial problems I was having with it anyway guys it should be as simple as just transferring data from a big backup to a new phone and you shouldn't have any errors if you're actually going through the process of setting up a new phone like one would but as you guys can see with the brand new service and when someone's not using uh, the new software exactly how the developers thought they would, um, there's going to be some errors. Anyway guys, that's a quick look at the new wireless data transfer migration assistant on iOS 12.4. I really hope you guys enjoy this update as you guys can probably tell by the timestamp up here. It took quite some time to get this working. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by in today's video. We're gonna have some more awesome content coming real soon. But until next time guys, this is Tony.